So you're interested in playing 7 Days to Die, but you're having difficulty understanding what to do after you finish the tutorial. Maybe you're having difficulty even surviving day 1. Well, I made this video just for you. It's my 5 tips to surviving day 1 of 7 Days to Die for beginners from a beginner. I'll give you my tips to start your 7 Days experience on the right foot. Without further ado, let's begin. So you just finished the tutorial and are left with some weapons and a waypoint through a trader. Tip number one, pick up everything. While you're making your way to the trader, make sure you pick up everything you were taught in the tutorial. Things like fiber, rocks, feathers, wood, and cotton. And even stop by any garbage you see and loot whatever's in there as well. These resources are very important at the start of the game, and some continue to be important late in the game. So pick up everything. One of the weapons that you're left with at the end of the tutorial is the bow and arrow. Well, make sure you craft more arrows because you'll need them for my next tip. Tip number two, kill all the animals. I know, it might seem sad to kill the animals. After all, they might be your only friends left in this world, but it's okay. You really need their meat. You see, Seven Days has a mechanic where you can go hungry and thirsty, and that can have negative effects on your character. So always keeping yourself full and stocking up on food as early as possible is the best thing to do. Now, these animals aren't moving. They're not running away from me. But in the real game, they are going to be pretty fast. That's why the bow and arrow comes in handy. With one arrow, you can pretty much kill that chicken in one shot. So it's always nice to run around with the bow and arrow at the beginning. Keep your eyes peeled for chickens or does or deers or anything you see and just unalive them. You'll thank me later. By this point, you should be at or close to the trader. The trader is where you go and get jobs, buy things that you might want and sell things you no longer need. Overall, there are a couple of different traders to find around the world and they all sell different things at different times. This is a good opportunity to use tip number three. Loot all the traders. Around the traders camp, you will find different spots that you can loot. Be it broken chemistry stations, broken workbenches, and many different small things. You might find useful things to take with you or things you want to sell. My advice, take everything you can for now. You might not know what you need until you don't have it anymore. And don't worry, the trader won't do anything to you. I think. One thing you should know, the trader does open and close its shop. It opens at 6 a.m. and it closes a couple minutes before 2200 hours. When they close, the game will automatically kick you out and will not let you anywhere near until they open up again. So this might be a good time for tip number four. Tip number four, find shelter. There are two ways that you can go about finding shelter. You can either kill two birds with one stone and get a job from the trader, preferably a clear zombie job somewhere close to where he is. Or you can go out by yourself looking for somewhere that you like. Preferably somewhere that has two stories or maybe on a flat roof that you can easily reach but zombies can't. Something like this. I usually go find a spot by myself that I really like, clear it, and claim it. Perfect. This spot is now nice and cleared. And by now, it should be almost nighttime. So my last and final tip is stay home at night. Nighttime can be very scary at the beginning of seven days to die. Scary music and even scarier zombies. Use this opportunity to set up your temporary shelter better. Now it's a time to use what you learned in the tutorial and create a campfire and cook some of the meat you got earlier in the day. To use the campfire is pretty simple. All you're going to need is your source of fuel, in this case wood. We're gonna put that up here. Then you're going to go onto your left hand side. These are all the recipes. Most of them you're going to have locked um, by this little icon here. So you won't be able to do them. I have them all unlocked as you can see. But at the beginning, you're only going to be able to do charred meat. So we're going to click on charred meat. You'll see that it takes five raw meat to create one charred meat. I have 10 raw meat. So I'm going to be able to do two charred meat. I'm going to start cooking them. Down here, you see that it'll take 26 seconds to do these two charred meat. While clearing, you might also have found murky water. Murky water, as is, not suitable to drink. What you're going to want to do, you want to go out to drinks, where it says boiled water. Click it, 
and cook all your murky water into nice boiled water so it's going to be easier to drink and that's basically it now all you got to do is just wait and whenever you get thirsty drink some of this boiled water and when you get hungry eat some of this charred meat you can also make small storage box to keep the things with you that you don't need and if you collect it a lot make two you should also try to familiarize yourself with the menu know where to go to look for your armor things that you can craft your skills the map everything and congratulations you have survived your first day and seven days to die with my tips you should be better prepared to start the day tomorrow now i had a blast creating this video and i hope you guys liked it and enjoyed the tips so if you did let me know i might make a day two video with another five tips leave a like and subscribe so you can see when the next video comes out i also have a series i'm currently doing so come check that out if you want anyways this is my five tips for beginners from a beginner and uh thank you see ya